Hi everyone, Kenny Kwa here. Welcome to Let's Play Together session. Alright, welcome back to Ukulele Aerobics week number 17. Today is Friday. We are going to do some legato exercise. Okay, so if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please click the subscribe button and also turn on the bell so that you can get the latest update on this video series. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at the audio profile. Let's go. So the audio speed is around 80 bit per minute and we are going to look at the score. So here you can look at it is um, full of uh, 16 notes. So um, that one, that's why it's actually pretty fast. So this is actually a G major um, key. And uh, we are going to look at how to do the legato, the hammer on and also pull off. So the first bit here is actually started off with the um, G and B note here, All right? G and B note. Here on the second fret, so I'm advising you to actually put on to the second position as your first fret. Okay, so this will be the second second fret. Started off with the second fret, all right. And you need to go to the third fret. So you do a pull off. Uh, sorry, you do a hammer on, and then afterwards you do a pull off, and then another pull off. All right. So this is the first beat, like this. Okay, so. Again, pluck and then hammer on, pull off and pull off. Okay, hammer on, pluck, hammer on, pull off, pull off. Okay, so this is the first beat like this. Okay, so you can use the P and uh, the thumb and also the middle finger for the first beat. Okay, like this. Okay, and then second bit, it actually started off on the second string and also the fourth string. So here you can use the I and thumb. So here is actually, um, uh, actually, yeah, here is actually a double G. Okay, so that's why these two is actually same, same sound. Okay. Like this. So third fret, second fret, and then go back to the third, third fret, and then of course there is an open string on this uh, last eight, 16 notes, so you can use the M to actually pluck it. So the second bit would be something like this, pluck, pull off, hammer on, and then pluck. Okay, so again, like this. Okay, so the first bit again we repeat. First beat, and then second beat, okay, and then we keep on repeating this cycle, like this, okay, until we're familiar, then we go to the third beat, so third beat is actually, um, you need to actually bar it, because we are going to actually pluck on the third string and also the first string. So you can use the again thumb and also M. Okay. So here you need to do a hammer on on the third fret and then fifth fret. Here, fifth fret and then pull off directly from fifth fret to the second fret. And then afterwards the third fret and fourth fret on the second and third string. You can use like this. Okay. So again the third beat and fourth beat, third beat comes start off with the third string and first string hammer on hammer on pull off and then pluck on the second and also the third string okay again one more time okay so this one really really needs some time to actually practice because from here once you do the bar very difficult to do a hammer on on the fourth your pinky finger Okay, to make it sound and then put, do the pull off and then plug on the E minor okay right so right now the first phrase is actually finished but we are going to actually try to um, run it through one more time on the first phrase so that you can get familiar with it so again first beat second beat third beat fourth beat 
like this. Okay, so again, one more time. Okay, so this is roughly the idea on the first phrase. Second phrase, so we are going to start out with the D7 and move on to the G. So um, here is actually only one single note every time on these 16 notes. So it started off with the open string on the first string. So you can use your M to plug. And then the second fret, again, is the same thing. You do it on the second position. Use your first finger to actually plug, to press, and also plug, and then do the pull off. And then this one, you can either choose your thumb, or you can either use back the I to actually plug. I use the thumb, okay, on the second fret. And then you need to do the pull off. And then hammer on okay and then uh, again on the second uh, string open string use the you can use the i or the m and then uh, do the hammer on on the second fret and then the third beat third beat this is fret number three so you plug and then on the um, second eight notes you can use the thumb to plug on the second fret and then form this G note here, okay? Form this G chord, sorry, G chord here. And this is the last note on the first string. You can use the M, okay? So again, the whole thing, it will be like this. Oh, sorry, I forget to mention. For this one, since we are actually going to form a G chord at last, probably on this um, uh, F sharp note, right? F sharp note here, okay? you can actually use the second finger okay, to do the pull off so that it will obstruct for you to use your first first finger on the third string right and then open string so you can use back the second finger and then third finger and then um, again on the third string second fret and then the last one second fret on the first string okay so again one more time like this okay so take note on the third beat is actually eight notes it's not 16 notes so it will be slowed down a little bit okay so again one more time so this is the whole idea on the second phrase so right now we have run through the first phrase and also second phrase so we are going to combine both together so let's practice one more time so again first phrase second beat third beat fourth beat and then first beat second phrase and then uh, second beat third beat, fourth beat, okay, one more time, okay, so this is actually the whole uh, exercise like this, so right now we are going to use the metronome to help us to gauge, so um, since the audio speed is around 80 bit per minute and uh, for legato itself the hammer on and pull off we can't do really too slow else it won't sound so that's why i'm actually choosing um, 50 bit per sec per minute first for a start and slowly we can actually increase the speed so let's start with 50 bit per minute so roughly the idea is like this like this this fast is it too fast? If it's too fast, then we can reduce down to probably 40 bit per minute. Like this. Okay, can? One, two, three. Oh, sorry. One, two, three, go. this is the 40 bit per minute all right again let's try one time 
Okay. One, two, three, go. Okay, so this is 40 beats per minute. If you still cannot make it, try to practice and practice and practice with this slow speed first. And then if you're able to complete this 40 beats per minute, let's try with the 50 beats per minute. So the idea is like this, 50 beats per minute. Okay, like this. Huh? Let's try. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. Okay, so this is 50 beats per minute and we are going to try a higher speed. 60 beats per minute. So it's this that fast, huh? One, two, three, go. Okay, so a little bit loud on the um, pull off just now. Let's try one more time. One, two, three, go. Okay, so the hammer-on so you have to take note the hammer on on the fifth fret here. So this one you really need to be very accurate so that you can create that sound on the fifth fret. Else it will not be if you use the pad too much, it will actually doesn't sound okay like this. Okay. So you really need to use the finger tip. If you use the pad, not that sound right. Okay. Next, we are going to try the 72 bit per minute or probably 69 bit per minute. Okay. 69 bit per minute. A little bit faster. One, two, three, go. Okay. One more time. One, two, three, Go. Okay, one more time. One, two, three, go. Okay, so this is 69 bit per minute, and we are going to move on to 80 bit per minute, the audio speed. Okay? One, two, three, go. Okay, one more time. One, two, three, go. So this is ATP per minute. Sorry about the noise. Let's try one more time. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. Okay, so this is 80 bit per minute, and we are going to challenge to um, probably until 92. Okay, let's try. 92 bit per minute. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. Okay, so this 92 beat per minute. <laughs> the last challenge, 100 beat per minute. This is totally 
too fast. Okay, let's try. One, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, go. <laughs> Did I make it? I'm not too sure, but roughly you get the idea. 100 beats per minute is very fast. One, two, three, go. Okay, so this is 100 bit for me and I believe that's all for today, right? So thank you for watching the video until this end. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. Click the subscribe button and also turn on the bell so that you can get the latest update on this video series. And if you think this video is actually useful for us, do share that out as well. Okay, so I'll see you tomorrow on the whole new exercise on legs and riffs, week number 17. Let's play together session and I'll see you soon. Take care and bye-bye.